And today is indeed my pleasure to welcome Pan Nalan to Showbiz India via Zoom, producer, writer, director. It's such an honor and pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. <laughs> so I was fortunate enough to watch your movie last night. I make it a point not to read the synopsis because I want to see what the film is. And I started watching it and I was like, wait, this seems a little bit like an autobiography. <laughs> and then I, I, I did read that it's kind of an autobiography, right? True. Yeah. Last film show or the original title, Cello Show, it is... Uh... totally based on my childhood you know in gujarat in the kathiawad or the saurashtra region in gujarat where i grew up did you really starve yourself just to watch films Yes, <laughs> I did that. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. On top of that, my mother used to be great cook, and uh, the place where we lived, just like in the movie, you know, you had to take a train, then take bicycle and arrive at school. So by the time the the there'll be lunch time on afternoon, we used to be like super hungry, <laughs> and for several, at least one and a half year, the projectionist whom I befriended, you know, swapping my lunch box with him. was unkind he would never share not even a one chapati with me you know so and then it was the opposite then we started sharing and it was fine you know but the first one and a half year it was like a he was testing me you know how long this guy is going to hold on you know film do to guess on it film That was actually a very sweet scene between him and the child there. Do you want some? And he's like, "Yes, I'm really hungry. Poor thing. I felt so bad." But that was a very beautiful scene depicted in there, and how the friendship then develops. So, of course, this is uh, inspired by an autobiography, like you said. But you've made other films in very different genres. So, uh, what uh, inspired you to finally do this film? you know i basically i believe i'm a storyteller and i just jump one genre to another from action to angry indian goddesses kind of uh, some called it chick flicks some sara very contemporary film and then i also like non fiction which we screened at ifla uh, you know faith connections but this one i i thought i will never kind of wanted to visit my childhood in cinema i never planned that but in 2012 i regularly visit my family there they still live there in the region and um, my father told me that you should go and see uh, mohammed bai you know from his uh, he's a real life person from his there is a character inspired in the movie which is the projectionist you know who used to be my friend when i was kid so and he had lost his job because across india many many cinema halls were shutting down you know because they were all going digital what we call single screens were just disappearing you know and he did not know how to read or write so he couldn't operate the digital project where he lost his job and he had a push cart to sell vegetable which was not really working <laughs> because it he never knew how to do that and his father was projectionist and his grandfather was also projectionist so he had started at age of 14 you know uh, and he had a job by the time he was 16 so he told me that do you know what's happening to this projectors now there are so many theaters are shutting down you know and bollywood movies each will have 2000 prints they are all being destroyed and turned into you know <laughs> recycled into something and and th- that sort of touched me and i was not really nostalgic about celluloid disappearing but i realized okay there was something beautiful when did all this became so elite there was something nice about my childhood as i traveled more and started making co-production with europe and japan and and i realized that i somehow missed that innocence life was so simple your journey is extremely inspiring you are self taught obviously you discovered the love of magic of celluloid very young yeah. and and you taught yourself talk to me about that <laughs> yeah I, i think you know as 
uh, I saw my first movie when I was between eight and nine year of age, and I instantly fell in love with this is what I want to do. Uh, and in the way we grew up in countryside, the only kind of cinema which came there was Bollywood, you know, popular mainstream Indian cinema. And uh, I used to, you know, uh, befriended the projects niece, you know, and I was really interested in cinema, and but I didn't know how to do that, you know, I had no clue how the films are made. You know, I figured out how they are being projected, you know. Um, but I, I believe that even before I saw my first movie, I used to collect images and line them up and tell stories like we see Samai in the movie with matchbox images. Because in India, there's a rich, rich culture of matchbox images, you know. So you will have each one have a different image. And we used to collect that as a kid and make a story out of it, like we will what we call modern day storyboards. Um, so fantastic! How interesting. <laughs> it, that was so. So I knew there was a little bit of a storyteller in me, uh, but luckily I had a good teacher who sort of advised my parents that look, he need to get out of here because he is not going to do anything here. He likes to paint, draw, do this drama thing. Let him go to do school out of here. He must learn English first. For those who don't know, you're from a very small town in Gujarat, right? Yes, very small village in uh, Sachangir. Uh, like you see in the movie, you know, it's surrounded with wildlife and, you know, lions and deer and, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a quite a unique place. I found in a flea market, old Swiss Bolex camera, which used to take two minutes of 16 millimeter film. And I bought that camera, you know, and I started making two minute clips using friends and whoever I can find, sometimes fiction, sometimes non-fiction, silent clips. But the films were really expensive and I was still a student. Uh, so I got an opportunity to shoot wedding videos because, you know, as you know, how in India people are crazy about wedding. So there were two advantage shooting as a student. I can eat two days really good food, <laughs> uh, make good money. And in two days, the job used to be over, you know, so I did like 50 odd wedding videos with star filters and Zoom and Taj Mahal and, you know, the couple kissing against sunlight and, you know, they used to love all these, you know, and, and uh, so that financed my first short films. It was a very nice, sweet film. So I encourage everyone to come out on opening day for IFLA and watch the last film show and meet you in person. Oh yeah, that would be wonderful. I'm myself looking forward to uh, to IFLA opening. So you seem like you have a really good sense of humor. I was looking at your Instagram and you made a very interesting and cute post about Will Smith and Chris Rock. And if I remember, <laughs> it said Will lost his willpower and Chris Rock. I <laughs> cracked up. That was so well said. <laughs> so are you forthright and funny like this always? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like to find lightness in all the crises, you know. <laughs> I think to solve any big problem is to find humor in it, you know. <laughs> I mean, what can we do, you know? So I think that's, uh, yeah. So it was it was this issue being discussed with so much seriousness, you know, and I said, okay, I have to find something. And it was very funny. The very next day, I was sitting and having dinner with the advisor of Will Smith, you know, <laughs> whose name is Christopher Wogler, you know, who helped him write his autobiography. <laughs> so, so, you know, we heard a lot of, you know, other stories anyway, but. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, we look forward to meeting you <laughs> soon on the red carpet and uh, we wish you continued success. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me and looking forward to seeing you in Los Angeles. मार प्रकाश बनोच प्रकाश मच वार्ता बने अन्य वार्ता मच फिल्म अब दो खेल वार्ता नो के भविष्य ना बता मालिको वार्ता कारो से Make sure if you like this video that you do subscribe to us and we love to hear from you so tell us your opinion right here and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post something new.